I break, so I go up there, chill with my daughter and my baby moms, which was my girl at the time. I break out and I leave, come back down south. I knew some little niggas that was doing some things, which right. I met through my cousin. I actually hung up the phone with him a few minutes ago, my boy Antone. Right. And uh, they, what they wanted, you know, I knew that game how to make something extra. You know, I was one of the best <laughs> ever did it in life, nigga. Yeah, all that shit, Beanie Siegel and them boy. talking. Don't disrespect the Beanie and all that, but yeah. but I, I, I love Beans. But I was the best ever did it, right? So I went on down and uh, <laughs> took them to New York with they bread. Got them what they want. They was happy. And the extras was mine. I went back down south, and that's when I never looked back. Mm. Right? Right. After that, and this is not bragging for the kids. I want you all to understand that. It's not bragging. I'm giving you all a quick story of some street stuff and how I turned it into a positive. So I went and got my shit together. I started hearing you on the phone with, I'm, I'm on the phone, on the uh, songs with Monifa, which was Queen Latifah artist. Mm -hmm. No, Heavy D. With Heavy D. We're yeah. going to get into some of that in a right. minute. But... Um, I'm hearing my boy. I'm like, yo, that sound like my bro from childhood. Yeah. And it was you. I didn't know you were signed at the time. I'm still home, yeah. going through the motions. Uh, I'm calling Pistol Pete, my nigga. Right. That's, that's locked up, Pistol Pete. I'm calling him. Right. And he was going through. He was like, I'm going to call you right back, Boots. I'm, I'm leaving Baltimore right now. I'm on my way. So nothing wasn't shaking right. with him. I had to do what I needed to do, right? So now I started hearing you, and now I'm back and forth New York now, right? Right. Then they had you on a compilation with Erica Badu, and uh, right. just a compilation and all that. I'm playing all that, right. all the right. way from New York, all the way New York back down. Long story short, I get my shit together. I sent niggas to, 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 to get, to find you for me, got your number, mm -hmm. and you was like, happy to hear from me. And you was like... Uh. Yo, Boost, whatever you need, my nigga. I'm like, yo, man, I need I need you on records with me because I'm rapping now. I started rapping. You right. was like, when you come up, call me. I came up, called you, and you was there front and center for me, bro. You already know, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know you're bro. and we went in the studio. We knocked the record out, me and you, with, with Nat and the Hat, Die Hard Records. What, yeah. up to, what up to Nat? My boy bless me with mm -hmm. distribution and all that stuff. And we went and knocked it out. We went down to what, Quad Studio? We yep. went down there and knocked the, the, the record out. Then you was like, yo, man, you might want to put my boy uh, Big L on the joint. I was like, you Definitely. get Big L? He was like, nigga, that's my brother. Mm -hmm. You know, it had got quiet for L when they had signed Nas. Everybody knew right. L loved L, but you know how the labels is. He had a little, it, it was basically, it was him and Nas were signed basically. I think Nas might have been signed before L, but what happened was, you know, it was a little label, like like a little, a little shit going on up up at the label that right. they wasn't pushing L shit the way they're supposed to be pushing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Facts. Like him and Nas were signed then. Like Nas was signed, I think, before L. Nas was on Columbia before L. L came after. Oh, That's see, I didn't Nas, know that. Yeah, not yeah. Um. That's L big information. I yeah, didn't know L that. Nas was there already in Columbia. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, yeah, a lot of they didn't push L shit the way it's supposed to. Cause L was he L was supposed to been out of here, B. been out of here, bro. Yeah. Been out, but he a was. Lot of shit happened because that one more chance. That was that was that 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 one more chance. Biggie used that was L beat first. L had, and one L, more chance L, that L, Biggie Smalls used? Yeah, that was L. L had that same beat. That, 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 that um, the bars joint. Right. L had that. Yeah, I think Show or one of them um flipped that joint or whatever, whatever. Wow. And then I don't know how, the, I don't know how Biggie get that joint or how to you know what I'm saying. Right. But L laid, that was supposed to be his first single. Right. So it was a lot of wicky wacky woo shit with that shit. You know yeah, some saying? some label bullshit that they be doing on the low mm -hmm. when they think that yeah. they got something better. Exactly. That's crazy. 
I you didn't know that. Check. That that's and history. If you, li- if you listen to um, I don't know. You might could pull it up because I think they they had uh, um dropped the uh, uh, uh how you say it, the white label. You remember when they yeah white, white label white yeah label they was white they label in my the records. White, yeah, they had the white label. They white label white label the joint, but somehow Biggie wound up. I don't know, man. That shit was crazy. Wow, that's deep. So after that, I didn't mm-hmm. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So once I came to New York, mm-hmm. I gave uh I paid out a couple dollars to get on the joint. Right. He got on the joint, but we was having so much fun in the studio. Well, we went to Jersey at my boy uh in them studio, yeah. Exactly. I forgot my boy's name. Went I know you're talking about that. Yeah, went there, Mike in them studio. And um mm-hmm. and my boy I was locked up with him. When I came home, he was calling pushing buttons for me from from in there. So right. I went and we went over there, we did that, but we had so much fun, we started clicking. And I'm telling L, I'm down south. He was like, Word, nigga, nah, let's roll. I want right. to come down south. And what we did, yeah. we went down south, man. Came down yeah. here, ran around, ran around the town. My yeah. nigga name started buzzing. I spent about 100, 100 racks around that, man. We was in hotels, yeah, we was in yeah, everything. Yeah. You, you had the studio, the two, the two, two, three story studio. Yep, there. I had the studio. And in Durham. Yep, facts. And we came oh, down man. here, and uh, after that, L name started buzzing again and buzzing yep. again, and he went back up there. I don't know what y'all was doing up there, but that nigga name started buzzing again. I came to New York and I came to his crib that time, right. and I was trying to tell him like, yo. Fuck all that, my nigga. I'll put the bread up. Let's let's team up and do something. And he was right. like, hell. He said, yo, Jay-Z and Dame called me to do a, a deal with them. Um, yeah. His flamboyant entertainment was yeah, going to be yeah, a joint venture. How you doing with Jimmy now? It's going to be a joint venture with Rockefeller. And right. I'm like, oh, shit, nigga. Go ahead and do that because... Right. Once you blow, you could pull me. He was like, "Yeah, I got you. It ain't nothing." And I knew mm-hmm. he would have just pulled everybody, man. That was That's he was a, about to that, be he out of here. Was. He, he definitely was, man. He'd have caught that Rockefeller run. He, he was gonna pull me and my man C Town too. As we was gonna be the what call the Wolf Pack. Wow. C Town, no, I mean my man Chris C Town. Right. You know what I'm saying? We was gonna be called the Wolf Pack, but L was going He was gonna be the anchor that pulled. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, that's man. crazy. And like, boy, the devil worked, boy. That's crazy. Because that, yeah, that was right there. That was about to breathe, the destroy the break the camel back for real. He would have went and got with Rockefeller. And that was before Cam and them got with Rockefeller. Way before, yep. Yep. That's yep. a fact. Like, uh, yep. 90, 99, yep. So quick question. Mm-hmm. Was he the first one to put Jay-Z on a record? Big L was oh. Big L the first to put Jay Z on a on a, a real official record. I know they had a a, a legendary dairy, uh bat, rap battle, but I was yeah, hearing that I, he was I, on I, a I record. He, he was on he was on um that uh, L first album too that graveyard shit. Right. Yeah, but um yeah Jay Z was on he was on that kid Jazz O his man you know what I'm, that was back in the day that Hawaiian Sophie shit and all that shit. But right. As far as like yeah L put him on. On, on graveyard shit. Right. And I'm only that asking. Like Styles of the Foreign Dangerous album, our first album. Right. And I'm only asking because I've heard it before, so, but I had to hear it from somebody that was there. And I know you was yeah. there for everything. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. But, you, you know, that's a blessing. Jay on that joint. That's what's you up. You can on the graveyard shit. Wow. And God bless the dead granddaddy, are you? Yeah, man. God bless. Granddaddy, nah, I you, man. He was on that joint too. A lot of he another person that they don't speak enough about. Right. God bless him, man. Right. That he, granddaddy, I you was dead nice, man. Right. That's Word, crazy, man. man. I've been saying that, man. It's sad, you know what I mean? Yeah. At an early, man. early age, man. Like wow, yeah. man. We losing a lot of our good legendary rappers, DJs, everything, I man. I, I still don't know what was the cause of death. Like I don't know, like what, nobody I, said I, nothing yet. Right. I don't even know, know what I'm saying, but it's crazy, man. I heard that. That shit fucked me up, man. I'm like, damn, I used to fuck with you all five. 
Like, I fuck with it. Like, you know what I mean? You was a good nigga, too, man. When I heard it, I, I couldn't understand it. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't believe, I ain't believe it at first, but then when I kept seeing it go across the timelines on uh, right. Instagrams and Facebooks. That's I'm how like, I'd always go, Bucks. Right. That's like, that shit was real. Go. You be like, first I, I you know, I was strolling. I'm thinking it's a nigga birthday or something. like, damn, why he bite? Then I right. put the catch. I'm like, oh, man. Bitch. Facts. Come on, man. Come on, man. Facts. That's, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. So. But getting back to L, yeah. L was, you know, L was the anchor, though, Bucks. Definitely was the anchor, and he's legendary, he's so. definitely at the forefront. I really, you know, that's why I knew I really had to, to speak about my brother while you on here, you know, to let the people know who he is, keep his name alive, and that's our job as our brother. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he Al, Al still to this day, man, nigga still, you know what I mean, for recited shit, hot and speak highly of What? You know, far as the, the, that the, rap. No, the I mean, greatest ever, the greatest ever that. lived. No telling exactly. where he would have been. For now, real. I put him in there with the greatest. I put him in there with whoever niggas think is. Yeah. Because that nigga was a, that nigga yeah. didn't play. Yeah. That yeah. nigga pen game was crazy. Yeah. He didn't his, play, his, Bucks. his thought process was crazy. For crazy. real. Crazy, man. So, yo, I want to let him know uh, how far we go back also. Uh, around that time, the, the type of fun we was having, because I had this conversation the other day with somebody when I threw your birthday party right. at Club Speed. I remember. Fully, fully packed each floor. I had Joe Claire there, the comedian from right. BET. Uh, Ralph McDaniel came. All of the fucking bad boy niggas was, was, was piled up in there. Like, right. we had a crazy yeah, ball. In yeah, that shit crazy. I remember that shit too. Clear as day. Yeah, facts. So my point is, I think we the one that set Club Speed off and made it famous around that time. Because it was popping, but ain't nobody knew nothing about yeah. it. My and sister Nicole like, found it. It had like three levels too, right? Three so, levels, right? yeah. You was yeah. that drunk, you don't remember how many floors and shit had for your birthday, nigga? Yeah, <laughs> that shit was, you know, Speed, you talking about some years ago, fuck. No doubt. No you know doubt. What I mean? We had a good time though, man, and we and definitely turned up. But I'm a I'm a I'm a hit uh, Ralph McDaniel up and see if we can get that footage, cause you know I'm doing my documentary, so that gotta go in my documentary, man. Yo, Bucks, this is what I meant to ask you. What happened to the footage from um, what that was Power Company or Plum? I think it was Power or Plum Crazy when we performed. I think it, it might have been. I think it's Plum Crazy. It was Plum Crazy. This one niggas was wearing Iceberg and all that. Yeah, that was Plum Crazy. It was Plum. Where is that footage at? I don't know, man. We don't have so Plum many. Beat. Yo, that's crazy that you asked that. That's going to make no, me mean, now. Like, where is that footage? I'm, I'm, yeah, man. I'm going to bust my brain now trying to find out which cameraman that you was know, that got. I, I, yo, you know, I think got some of that footage. My man Rob. My man Rob. My man Rob Reed. Rob Reed. Remember my man Rob Reed. I brought him down a couple times. My yeah. man Rob, boy. Find him and oh, ask him. Shit. And Oct Two G's might know also, cause Oct Two G's was doing getting yeah, some camera people got for that him. footage, Bucks. Yeah. That was. I, I I definitely think Rob got that footage, man. That's crazy. Worth the mother, man. I forgot all about that, bro. Wow. Nah, that, I remember that shit clear as day. We had a ball. What did we? We tore North Carolina up. Went to yeah. Fayetteville. Remember that 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 spot at Fayetteville was like a, a it was a grocery store, but they turned it into a club, big yeah. as hell. And Big L was with us then. Yeah. You knew all the stuff. You know all the stuff. That power company used to rock too. Yeah, power company was legendary. Still that, to this that, day, they talk about power company in Durham. Mm -hmm. Facts. Big facts. That's crazy. Plum crazy pop two PC PC. Yeah. We gotta we gotta we gotta those, find those, that footage. Two ones I, I remember. I, we used to go to a bunch of joints. We used to go to the joints in Tar Hills joint too. The, the um, the uh, we was going to the joints in Tar Hills too. In uh, Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill, I mean. Yeah. yeah. In that, Chapel Hills, yeah. Every Tuesday, it was every uh, Tuesday, B, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that little spot. I, I forgot the that. name of that spot. It's on the tip of my tongue, man. I Chapel know what you're talking Hill, about, yeah. but that used to be popping. 
Man, you was all over down here. Every time somebody see me or hear me, they always ask about you. Like, you live down here, man. Hell <laughs> yeah, bitch. Nah, that shit was fun. I remember we went to, um, go, we, we ran down on Kane one time, too. Oh, yeah. We had went to go check, we had went to go get some of that catfish one time over one of them little spots and shit. That catfish was good as a month. <laughs> yeah. We had went to one of them little spots, and I, I think Kane didn't live too, Big Daddy Kane didn't live too far from there. Yeah, I yeah. Think we had pulled up on him. Yeah, Kane right here. He's still here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah that's how far I'm, talk, I'm talking, know what I mean? He's yeah. been down there for a minute, too. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Kane been you know for a minute. He's, he's still facts. chilling. He in that, he's uh, facts. he's in that, uh, the New Jack, is it New Jack City? The New Jack City, um, play uh -huh. that they doing. They got a tour with it. Oh. Oh, he was just good. in New York. They was down on Broadway somewhere. Kane that's doing cool. his thing still. My boy ain't sitting he's still. A legend. Yes, he's sir. A legend. Big legend. Still go humble. Still good dude when he see me. Open arms like great dude, yeah, man. man. Still got his health. Youth. That's he's right. still looking young. Like, yep. that's crazy you mentioned that. Boy, I forgot all I about that. Good times down there, boy. Your memory yeah. impeccable. Yeah, man. So... <laughs> Let them know how you got signed and what led you to the path of you being in the forefront after L. How I got signed is crazy. It was a um, it was a, a gambling spot around my block, right there on Lennox Ave, um, one one three nine between one thirty eighth and one thirty ninth in Lennox. It was a gambling spot, you know what I mean? And it was um, you know, people used to come from all over. You had. Big time dudes from coming from all boroughs or Jersey, Queens, Brooklyn. Everybody used to come to the joint. So my man Inky from Mount Vernon. I mean, you know, I met him in the My in nigga that Thug. Show. The Thug. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you sir. Already Love know. my boy. That's my boy. Yeah, you already know. Ink. So I met Ink in that joint. So he um you know how Ink go, he used to be talking, talking, know what I mean? He's so still talking, talking. That talking. Like, yeah, nigga Ink yeah, ain't gonna looking, never I'm stop like, talking. He's like, yeah, he know this one, that one. So um, I said, I gave the nigga my, I had a dent. This one of them niggas was doing demo. Right. I gave him a little demo tape. You know what I'm saying? So boom, he said he was going. At first, he was supposed to give it the. It, it was out. Of, it was out of three people. It was either Eddie F, Puff, or Hav. Right. You know what I'm saying? We wound up going to. He wound up going to Hav. Hav wound up telling us come downtown one time. He was like, yo, Gruff, ride with me down. Downtown having them in Soundtrack Studio. I never forget that shit. And we went down there. And like you said earlier, you remember when you said you was beat? I used to beat on the desk. I, I, that, that's how I, I did my little, what you call it? I was beating on the joint, start rhyming. You know what I'm saying? And the rest was history. That that same day, I wound up getting on the um, Monifa's because he already had Monifa was signed before me. He already had Monifa in the studio and all that. Who? He was in soundtrack recording her album. Who? You know Who? what I'm saying? Monifa. Who you talking about had her signed? Heavy D. She was signed oh. to Heavy D. Right. So yeah. heavy. So that's who signed you? Yeah, that's who signed me. Heavy you know D. You know what I'm saying? We was on the same label, me and Monifa. You know what I mean? Right. So for real. Right. You know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. Big shout out to So For Real and them too, man. No yeah. Boys. Right. Facts. That's hip hop history, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, your first album, who you had on your first album, who you worked with and everything? I worked with, you know, the um, Big Al, Cam, Mace, God bless the dead, my man Panama P.I. Wow, Panama died? Yeah, Panama died, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, about a month ago or something. Fuck wow. It. God bless my brother, man. Wow. Yeah, about a month or so. Okay. You know what I mean? Like Panama P.I. Who else? Um, DMX. Who now, X, X was on the album. Didn't you have a joint the with locks. DMX? The Locks. Oh, the yeah, locks. The Locks. I just said with The Locks. Yeah, The Locks you know, was on there. The locks. Big shout out to The Locks. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Quick I'm story kissing. about The Locks. Yeah. You remember when uh, we was in D.C., when Puff and them was on tour? Right. And I called you. You was like, I'm over here at the hotel with, with right. Puff and them staying at. Uh, matter of uh -huh. fact, the, the show was over. The concert was over. But remember, that was the year when Puff and them was getting death threats. 
Right. But he still was out. And he had bodyguards every goddamn weird, man. Mm-hmm. And we came yep, in. Yep. We was in the yeah, hallway we, with we the locks. DC Live. Right. That's what DC Live was rocking. Right. And all that. And we was in the me, right. you, Jada Kiss, uh, Styles, and all the locks, and a few other cats was in the lobby, and Puff came in. He ain't speak mm-hmm. to nobody. That nigga had security <laughs> around him. Walk him straight to his elevator. Before he get on the elevator, one uh-huh. security walk in, make sure the elevator's clear. Then they put Puff on the elevator. Right. Like that was some. That was that yeah, was an experience. That. Facts. Yeah, I remember that. 